human beings know more now about the universe than ever before, and our desire for exploration has spread light onto many of its mysteries. However, we are still clueless in our quest to find other intelligent civilizations like ourselves in interstellar space. But that hasn't stopped us from searching for the answers to the mysteries of the cosmos. So if an intelligent alien civilization were to come across us, how do you think they would communicate? For 60 years, the astronomers of SETI have been focused on detecting technosignatures, scouring the universe for radio signals. But if extraterrestrial civilizations exist that are far more advanced than us humans, why would they still be using primitive technology? And if there are hostile civilizations out there, how would they hide their communication from others? The answers to these questions and more, today, here on Interstellar Happenings. No life beyond Earth has ever been found. However, this does not mean the universe is lifeless other than Earth. While no clear signs of life have ever been detected, the possibility of extraterrestrial biology and the scientific logic that supports it has grown increasingly plausible. One popular school of thought is that our own existence is evidence that there is certainly life on other planets. As the likelihood of Earth being a one-off is almost zero. However, one argument against this is, if there are extraterrestrial civilizations out there, why have we not found evidence for it? Quantum communication has often been considered the most secure form of communication, but might it be the best way to send messages between star systems? New research suggests that aliens could be trying to reach us this very second with the help of photons and light particles over long interstellar distances. As its name suggests, quantum communication utilizes the quantum features of light to transmit messages. The dots and dashes of binary code can be indicated through the quantum state of photons rather than amplitude or frequency. And over the past few years, scientists around the world have been investigating using quantum communication right here on Earth. Such communication has been demonstrated over distances of hundreds of kilometers, and even between a communicator on the ground and in a satellite. However, the main concern when it comes to quantum communication is decoherence, in which quantum particles lose their quantumness or strength after interacting with their surroundings. Quantum particles, like photons of light, are fragile and could easily break down if they met any kind of interference like gravitational fields of large planets or stars, cosmic dust, solar winds, and other particle content in the interstellar medium. However, it was determined using astronomical data and mathematical models to describe the movement of X-rays between roughly a hundred relatively nearby exoplanets and Earth, that due to the lack of obstacles in interstellar space, the quantum messages could survive traveling hundreds of thousands of light years, at least. A greater stretch of distance than the entire Milky Way galaxy. And the scientists have already calculated the viability of this interstellar telephone system. Have even suggested some ways we can look out for signs aliens are already using it. Quantum tech employs the effects of quantum physics the nature of matter at the atomic and subatomic levels. Quanta are also still limited by only being able to travel at the speed of light, 186,282 miles per second, meaning messages would still take years to cover interplanetary distances. The main advantage of quantum communication is the amount of information that can be carried efficiently without needing exceptionally high-powered transmitters. Given the years of delay between sending and receiving these signals to other star systems, messages that don't carry a lot of information may be judged not worth the effort. Ease of encryption is a secondary benefit. 
This level of information that can be securely transferred using quanta at high speeds can make it a viable method of communication to other life forms. Although both sender and receiver might need to be outside an atmosphere if we want the transmission to occur from a planet itself. In the long run, colonies and other star systems may use this to communicate with their home planet. Distinguishing alien signals from natural sources can be a tricky matter, as shown by surges of excitement when we discover new classes of objects such as pulsars and fast radio bursts. However, quantum teleportation, the form of quantum communication considered most attractive, requires two correlated signals, which would distinguish any alien quantum message from anything natural. Essentially, if an extraterrestrial civilization has decided on the merits of quantum communication, the galaxy could be abuzz with their messages, and currently there are no known objects in interstellar space that could naturally transmit quantum messages that could be mistaken for alien signals. If this is true, perhaps we should be trying to listen. But it would require a powerful quantum computer here on Earth to decode any, and we would have to make assumptions about the encryption codes. There would be a certain amount of guesswork and trial and error in understanding the quantum communication signal that has just been received. But all the same, one would at least be aware the signal appears to be from an intelligent source. In principle, it should be possible to detect quantum signals coming from an astrophysical body or even an intelligent signal from an extraterrestrial civilization, as it could provide a better signature for detection. While there is a risk of exposing humanity to intercepting an encrypted code, whereby the sender would know the signal was intercepted, but if the civilization is communicating with quantum technology already, there's a good chance they already know we're here. So what do you guys think? Should we be listening for quantum messages? Furthermore, trying to contact ET using these quantum messages, exposing ourselves to risk. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button now for more interstellar happenings.